the Sheila D. and I hope you all are having a blessed day. Today I'm going to be reading to you an excerpt from my first book titled A Broken Child Saved by God's Grace. The tagline is Silence Can Destroy You. And I'm going to be reading chapter four titled Self Love Slash Worth, paragraphs one through five. Here we go. Tina had always loved herself, but not as she should have or how she deserved. She really couldn't have loved herself if she gave herself so freely to different men who really didn't care about her at all. Over time, she slept with so many men that she couldn't even keep count, including her baby's fathers. They just happened to be the ones that got her knocked up. Tina raised her kids on her own, with the help of her support system, of course, and pretty much kept to herself, so she was somewhat of a loner. She didn't have to have or want people around her all the time. She wasn't a nymphomaniac, so she didn't need sex all the time. In fact, there were times when she would go months without it. She was just a product of her environment as far as what she was exposed to at such a young age. Some saw this as an indication that she had low self-esteem, but Tina viewed it as she was just having a bad day. Well, she considered herself to have had a lot of bad days. She made the mistake of seeing the potential in a man instead of looking at what he was presenting to her at the moment. Because she was shown what she thought was love, many times she overlooked the red flags that were right in front of her. She was finally realizing that what a man was when she met him was usually what he would be in life, period. Tina began talking to her ex-boyfriend, Jerome Wright, the father of her fourth baby, which she miscarried with help. She was talking to him again because he briefly showed her that he had changed and that his change was for the better. She quickly found out that he was only talking to her because he needed slash wanted a new place to stay. He was currently living with a woman whom he was using for a place to stay and financial security. Basically, someone that could take care of him. At least that was what he told Tina. He never referred to her as his girlfriend, so Tina was not sure what she was to him. He claimed that this woman was feeding his drug slash alcohol habits and was easy to run over slash use, which was why he needed a new place to stay. Unfortunately, Tina found out that he was trying to use her as well. That was not Tina's mode of operation. At that moment, she came to an important crossroads in her life. That crossroads was that she was fed up with men trying to use her, fed up with their lying and cheating. She decided to take a journey of celibacy. She had tried celibacy once before and only made it to a year. This journey, as before, was a very difficult one to start. After all, she loved having sex, but she knew she had to make some changes. She knew that she loved herself but she needed to modify her life for her outcome to become a bigger, better, and brighter destiny. This time she vowed to do things God's way because her way always messed things up. Her plan was to wait until marriage to have sex this go around. Tina's celibacy journey turned into 10 years and still counting. And that is the end of what I'm going to read out of this chapter. So now I'm gonna skip over to the Bible verse at the end of the chapter, which reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And that is from the World English Bible, 2 Corinthians 5th chapter 17th verse. I hope you all enjoyed this excerpt. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. You are welcome to share this video. And you can comment below and let me know of uh, anyone that you may know or anything that you have been through that's related to uh, my main character's Tina's uh, situation. Most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Have a blessed day.